ChatGPT Asia Mode was released, I don't know, maybe a couple weeks ago. It was just released in my account a few weeks ago, so I dove right in. Now, is it a waste of time? Is it even worth it? What can it do? How fast can it do it? And are you just going to go down another AI rabbit hole? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you exactly what I used it for, the exact prompt that I use it for, and how it not only found me prospects for the HVAC niche to prospect them, it did all the deep research on them, name, email, phone number. It then scrolled all of these businesses, socials and Yelp pages and Facebook and LinkedIn, pulled personal information that could find of each of these businesses, then did a marketing audit of each one of these businesses. Then it created cold emails that I could use to send to each one of these businesses that were personalized, essentially that it found. So then I'm not just sending a generic cold email to a business in my area, but I'm actually personalizing it, showing them the problem that they have and then providing the solution all while I played nine holes of golf at the country club while I waited for this agent to finish what I told it to do. Do you guys want to see it? Let's jump on my screen and I'm going to show you everything. Also, side note, I have my school community for less than a buck a day or grab a go high level trial prompts, trainings, everything I talk about in this YouTube channel, plus much more that I haven't even gotten to yet is all in that school group link in the description. Also pinned in the first comment. Let's jump on the screen and I'll show you what I've been working on. Here is the biggest problem with this kind of stuff. You can fall down massive rabbit holes and spend more of your time trying to figure out and learn how to properly use AI or what even AI can be used for when it comes to, let's say, your marketing agency or your, your business, right? And so one thing that I want to talk about is kind of where we're at in the space of agent mode versus other tools. And if you take a look at a quick journey, you had your basic chat bots, then you had these like smart assistants, these multimodal AIs like text, images, voice, web browsing, and then now AI agents is the new buzzword, right? And don't get me wrong. I think it's cool. I think it's amazing. And I'm so excited to see where it's going to go. And that's going to bring me to the topic of this video is like, I'll show you what I did, what I used the chat GPT agent for. And was it amazing or was it a bust? And so the key difference is you're going to go from telling me to doing it, right? So how do I plan a birthday? Tell me how to do it. Get a checklist before. And now with agents, it's like plan a theme party and order everything. AI will actually do the research, find the vendors, and then prepare you to contact them or order what you want. Currently, chat GPT agent mode is if you want AI to perform the task, not just give you the information. What would be performing the tasks? So you'll see when I go through this, performing the tasks would be like, hey, go out and find me 20 businesses, then go and give me issues that they have in marketing and then write me cold emails and give it all to me when you're done doing the task, right? Not just like, hey, give me a list of 20 HVAC businesses near me so that I can go and do the rest of the things that I want to do. Currently, Claude, I don't believe has it. Perplexity or Google Gemini don't have the ability to do this. So it excels at multi-step workflows, app integrations, task completion, advanced safety features, real website interaction. It'll click, it'll type. You'll see uh, when I show you data analysis and user-friendly interface. Now, here's some uh, limitations. Currently, this is only available at the $20 a month or the pro or the 200 a month, right? So if you have a free account, I believe they haven't rolled it out to you guys yet. Whatever. I don't care about that. There's some potential security risks, limited usage, no long-term memory, a still experimental and improving. It is experimental and I'll show you. I was going to like have this thing run and show you step by step. This is the prompt. I gave it three steps. Find 20 local HVAC businesses, pause after you find them, then do deep digital audit of each one. So for example, example, Google Business Profile, Organic Presence, Website Audits, etc. Then uh, write a brief two to four sentence summary, put it in an output table, and then create some cold email sequence creation, right? We want to personalize it, identify one major marketing weakness that they found in the research, and then present a solution. Here is what it did. It took 44 minutes. I knew it was going to take a while. This is why I went and played golf. It gave me 20 local HVAC businesses, okay? Now, I can go ahead and use a tool called Appify, which will be on, my, on this channel. I'm going to go through that. That, so make sure you like subscribe and turn those notifications on it gave me the address and it gave me a google business profile if they had one all right so it did what i asked it to do then i said okay cool you got it go to step two and it did the audit so wayne hvac doesn't have it has an unclaimed or unknown can't find a google business profile air solutions it couldn't find it if you know anything about prospecting at all the worst thing that you can do is try to automate prospecting through cold email without an identifiable problem that they have. For example, 
instead of doing a full audit, the best thing to do is, is just pick a service that you provide, for example, like reviews, and ask it to grab 100 HVAC businesses in a 100 mile radius, and then give me their amount of reviews and the average star rating. That way we can create a template that goes out to all these businesses because they all have the same problem. Doing it like this is like, there's no way that I can mass do this. It can't be done, not at ease. It would require a lot of my work to be able to do that, all right? So it gave me some findings of each one. Most of the ones around here, basically they were saying like, you know, old website is ugly, blah, blah, blah. Error Master had a lot of reviews and averaging 4.6 stars. If I went and did a crawl and said, just give me everybody, give me all of these businesses that have less than 20 star, 20 reviews and less than a 4.5 star review rating, Air Master wouldn't be on here because it was not a really a great business to prospect. If you read here, solid reputation, site is functional, somewhat outdated. Let's take a look. Honestly, out of all the other ones, this is not too bad. I hate that their form is like you know, almost invisible, but it's trying to find something wrong. And in some cases it's not, there's so many low hanging fruit. And then it went and created an email. So because Wayne HVAC website, it's using that issue which is pretty good, right? Your website is stuck in 2005. I don't know, it might piss them off, but I reviewed your site. I was surprised to see a dated design with no SSL or mobile optimization. Modern customers expect to secure yada, 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 right? But in some cases, like there was really nothing wrong with the business. Not every business is prospectable. So as you can see, it's like, hey, you rank well for HVAC, but surrounding towns like Little Falls and Total, I show competitors first. Okay, so that's a pretty good email. So it does good at certain things. It gave me a write-up, did some audit, it's it wrote me some emails cool but i'm not too impressed i kept running into like little situations it took a long time to do and i wasn't impressed so over here i forgot to show this in the beginning two businesses two agents doing all the work create the audit find 20 potentials and draft cold emails it did it it's still going to take me some manual labor to get it into go high level send the emails out so on and so forth because every business has a different problem so i can't use some template okay and then in my coaching i wanted to pull a list of testimonials i wanted the agent to scrape our private Facebook group and pull me a list of the last time we did a quarterly contest, which was in May, probably January, February, March, April, May. Yeah, it would have been May the last time we did a quarterly contest. And that's most of the time when students will post the wins that they have so they can win money. I did this last week and it worked great. So I'll show you what I did. I said, please scan this URL to sort by newest post that can be found and find me the last 20 student wins. Okay. Usually they are posted when we do quarterly contests. So please search for the following hashtags. This stuff works at LMV sales contest, giving the priority to, to this one. Make sure that you check off most recent when doing the search, then give me a list of their names. All right, so it did it, it actually did it. This was, I actually was happy. So Emily Gregg, she marketing materials, referral, client paid invoice, $731. Here she got $1,292. And I'm like, ugh, they're giving me every post, not 20 different names, or just give me 20. And I'm like, okay, I don't want that. So I said, I should have prompted you to not repeat the same student. So please choose the best of each student. Not repeating the names, make sure you find 20 different names. So then it did this, like Emily Gregg, picked the highest probably amount of money. Got a deposit for $4,438. Miri got $1,700. Anash 42, Sarah Paul 7250 for website project, Emmanuel two deposits of $1,000, Lance Wolf, you get my point, right? And then today what I wanted to do was show it to you live, the Facebook scan, and it gave me all these problems, man. It was like, yo, I can't log in. And I was like, no, but I did log in. And then I logged in, I took control of the screen. And then it said, for privacy and safety reasons, I recommend you review the post directly from the, within the group. And I was like, is this new? Because you just did this for me last week. And then it said, maybe they changed their privacy policies. So ultimately it will do somewhat of what you want it to do. And I'm probably gonna get posts down below that say, well, James, this is not what it's made for, man. This is like, you know, like you're supposed to make it to do blah, 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 blah. And my answer to that is, is like, cool. I need it to do what I need it to do. So if it doesn't do, and if it's a pain in the butt to try to activate this agent to go to do the things that I have to do, well, I'm not gonna use it, just not. I'm gonna wait for it to get better because it will get better. And this is where it is important to understand the difference between these two main thoughts that you must always make sure that you can answer in your mind. Question one, will AI take a task that I hate doing is redundant is wasting my time will it either easily do it for me or am i going to have to spend the same amount of time to learn how to use ai in order to complete this task 
Does that make sense? Because you'll spend more time trying to figure it out and running into roadblocks than you would have just gotten it done. For example, pulling 20 lists with ChatGPT's agent is, for me, is pointless. I could go to Appify. It's an AI tool that will pull me a thousand names very easily and very fast. Put it in an Excel sheet. I could upload it to go high level and create cold emails from there, right? I could sort it by the amount of reviews I have. I could do anything I want. And that is why I created my school community. I created it for this exact reason. So people don't have to waste their time trying to learn tools that will not help them. And so if you're interested in staying up to date on AI in the marketing agency space, and you don't want to go down rabbit holes like I did with ChatGPT's agent and waste a couple of hours, I felt like it was a waste of time, then I suggest you join. It's less than a buck a day or just join Go High Level using my affiliate link down below. It's in the description. It's on my school page. You'll get the school access for free. You'll also get access to a private community where a lot of my coaching students are other agency owners and weekly Q and A's weekly lives, so on and so forth. And you know, what I've told my student base was like, just wait for me to waste my time learning this stuff. And then I'll put it in the training. And then you just use that. I'm running my own agency, I'm spending my time learning AI. I do have certain coaches that I kind of follow and talk to. They do the same process. They don't bring it to their community unless it's usable. And otherwise you're just going to be going down the rabbit holes like everybody else. And you're just going to quit and it's gonna be a waste of your time. And you're going to quit and you're not going to want to do this and it's going to suck. So join my school community, grab go high level. All you're going to do is you're going to learn what works. That's it. See you in the next video. Like, subscribe, comment. If you like this content, make sure you turn those notifications on. I'll see you on the next one.